This is a brief introduction to Heidenhain's ND1403 QuadraCheck. It has a nice touch screen display with a nice easy to read DRO. We have your measuring tools down here. You have easy to access setup options up here and you're gonna have your features list right here. I've already calibrated my tip so I can begin measuring parts. I want to establish my part cornering system. First I want to level the part. So I'm going to measure a plane on this widget. Select the plane 3D feature right here. And go ahead and start measuring. And then press on finish. Now you notice that these coordinates right here pop up on your screen. I can make that plane my zero datum point in the Z direction by pressing on here. And I can level the part by pressing this align button right here. And now if you noticed that these numbers turn blue, so you're all set with that part of the alignment. Next I'm going to align the part in the X axis. I'm going to go over here again on measure, select the line, and I'm going to measure a line on that front face. Now I'm going to press on finish again. Now you notice yet again in black, in black you'll see that it will pop up the measurements of that line. I want to align that part, like I said, so I'm going to click on here, and I want to set my Y datum by pressing on the zero right here. Now my next thing I want to do is I want to uh, measure a point right here so I can make my datum as the corner of this part. So I'm going to select point right here and measure the point. and then press on finish. Now I can zero my X. And I'm gonna press quit to go back to the main screen. Now you notice that these little symbols right here up here, this represents that you've established your datum and your part coordinate system. So now I can go ahead and measure, measure many features on, on this widget. For example, let's do um, this uh, quarter of an inch diameter circle right here. I'm going to press on circle on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and measure this. And like always, when you're done, press finish. Now you'll notice that it'll give you the X, Y uh, dimensions of that circle in relationship to our datum. And you'll notice that it'll give me the diameter of a half inch circle. I can also determine, I can also show the radius by, by pressing on this D and it'll change to R and then you have your quarter of inch radius circle. Now let's measure another circle by pressing on circle again and I'm going to measure this one right here, this bottom one. Let's finish again, like always, and look, it pops up the dimensions there. Now let's say if I want to do a distance between those two circles that I just measured, I'm going to go click on the dimension button right there, and then I just simply just press this circle right here, and you'll see a check mark pop up, and you do it again on the other circle, you notice that another check mark pops up, and then you press finish. You'll then notice that it'll give you an x, y dimension and also give you your linear x, y dimension right there. Now let's say if I want to, on this part you'll see that there's multiple circles on there and I want to measure them all. I'm going to click on circle right here. And you notice on top here it says probe circle. I want to measure multiple of them. So I'm going to press this one right here. It's two circles right here. So now it says probe circles. I'm going to go ahead and do so. Press 
press finish. And, I'll, and then it'll prompt you to do the next one. And finish. Okay, now I have four circles. Now let's say if I wanted to do a bolt circle of those four that I just did. So I'm gonna go on circle again right here. And then circle right there, and do the four. Press finish. Now, if you wanna see what you just did, you can press on this view button right here, and you can clearly see that of the circle that you just made within those four circles that you previously just made. So that's a really cool feature there too. Now if I wanna do any tolerance thing on this circle per se, you can click on this circle, or this button right here. Right now the default says none. Let's do like true position. As you can see, it comes up to true position and you can go through these, you can touch right here and you can set all your nominals and you can even set your lower limits and high limits and so forth and so on. And you can press just finish and quit. And it will go back to your main screen. And if you want to start all over again, press on this button right here and it'll prompt this message. Just press enter and then want to delete and you can start all over again. Thank you for watching.